Hey everybody, Michael from Rough Ride Bros here, and today we have a bit of a different video for you guys today. We're going to be looking at the MP34 digital player, which is probably a knockoff of the older iPod Nanos, because uh, I looked at the date on this, it said it was made around 2004, so that was kind of around the height of popularity for the original iPods. So let's unbox it, then I'll show you guys. Taking a look at the box itself, you can see it says MP3 4 digital player, which probably means that they're trying to say that it's an MP4 as well as an MP3, so you could play your music and you could watch videos. Um, there's a little window here where you could see the MP3 itself. Um, you could see a stock photo of some lady who seems like she's enjoying music, but um, she's not holding the MP3 at all, so it's probably they just ripped a photo off the internet and used it for the box. Uh, this side it also shows MP3 for digital player. Over here there's kind of a checklist. This probably was used to tell what kind of MP3 it was, so if it did both or just one, but it seems like this one doesn't do anything or they forgot to check the boxes. Uh, it also says here there could have been a 128 meg one, 256, 512, 1 gig, and 2 gigs. Uh, I believe this is the 1 gigabyte model. But at the time, obviously, 1 gig was probably a lot, considering now you could have a 64 gig iPhone. Uh, on the back here, it also says MP3 4 digital player. And on this side, there is just a sticker with the model number, and it says over here MP3 1 gigabyte. And I guess there are different colors of this too, because there's also a color section over here, but I don't think it was used at all, because they just slapped a sticker over it. And I think, I don't know if you could see this, but I could see through the sticker here, there are some check marks. So, on the back, there's the same stock photo of the girl. Uh, there's a little uh, wave of music going by. <laughs> And also there says here MP3 slash 4 player. It comes with an instruction manual, application CD, which is probably just for installing the software, um, unique stereo earphone, uh, USB cable, and an AC slash DC power adapter for charging. Now let's get into the unboxing. It just has a magnetic door here, so it must have been wrapped before. So let's just open that. There's a nice velvet ring around the MP3 player itself. Uh, we'll be taking a look at this later. Uh, opening this side over here, you can see the power adapter. Uh, I'm not sure if I can use this because this does not look like the type of power adapter we use in North America. Um, USB to mini USB charging cable. Uh, I assume this is the instruction manual, but it's all in Chinese, so I can't read it. Uh, it also shows a piano here, so uh, they're getting some really stock photos to put in these manuals. Uh, the earbuds themselves, I don't know what they were doing here, because um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a really long stick on the sides of the earbuds. I don't know what that's about. Uh, some extra packaging. And here, I guess, is the install disk, but here it says MP4. So I don't know what they're doing, if they're confused about if it's an MP3 or an MP4, because uh, they keep switching the names around. And then, as you can see, also it says driver over here. Uh, down here, there's also a warranty card, which is probably expired now, from Go Yin Industrial. You could email them and tell them how shitty your packaging is. Then also on the back here, it's all written in Chinese, so I don't know, maybe you're supposed to fill this out and send it to him or something. Not really sure what to do. And now that the earbuds are unwrapped, you can see both of these over here. Um, there's the cord here to plug into the MP3 itself. And I don't know really what was happening here, but as you can see, here's the cord with the earbuds on it. And then you get to the end here and it's kind of split, so you plug this into your MP3, I guess, and then I guess you use this to like maybe wrap it to the MP3 so you don't lose it, because looking at the MP3 right now, I could see a little ring around the bottom that you can put that on. 
So I don't really know what they were doing there, but I guess so you don't lose the earbuds. Not taking a look at the MP3 itself, let's take it out of the packaging. Looks like it was already open before, but I've never seen this before. Uh, here's the MP3 itself. I don't know what that says. Poodoo on it? That's not a very attractive name. Uh, there's a play and pause button. I guess a menu button. Uh, back and forward buttons. Volume over here. Uh, there's a mini USB jack on the bottom of it. There's also the headphone jack. It says over here 1 gig FM. So that probably just means it's 1 gig and has an FM radio. Um, it shows the build date here. I don't know if you could see that, but it looks like it was made in 2004, 2005-ish. Then there's just some more writing here. Uh, the power switch up here. And then also, as I was saying before, I guess you put the earbuds through here so you don't lose them. So now that we've looked at the MP3 itself, I thought I'd just do a size comparison with an actual iPod. So over here I have a 5th gen iPod Nano. So let's just do a size comparison. They're actually about the same height. Like they look fairly close in terms of height, but as you can see with the iPod, it's a little more circular on the edges while this is completely square. And the iPod seems to be a bit thinner. But overall, I think it does look a bit more like the older Nanos than... Because this is actually a fairly new one compared to this one over here. Because I think this one was based off of the iPod Nano from about the same time, 2004-2005. But it actually somewhat looks like it. It's just the materials are a bit cheaper. I guess now that we've looked at the device, uh, let's power it on. So just get it up here, put that switch see the display there's a big uh, something wrong with the display over around here uh, it looks like a very poorly made display but then again this is just a Chinese knockoff that probably cost you like 10 bucks on eBay so actually uh, all the writing is in Chinese I don't know if you could see that but uh, yeah I don't know if I could show you guys so I guess over here, there's a little icon over here for music. Um, there's a video, uh, I guess recording. Uh, I'm not really sure what that would be. Uh, radio, pictures, and then settings, I assume. And I'm not really sure what that would be. It's like a book with glasses on it. Uh, not sure what that would be either. Uh, or that. Oh, wait, no, it's just. Uh, it overlaps. Well, I guess the only way to check if it actually works is to test it. So, I got the earbuds over here. And let's just see if it works. Okay, it looks like it just turned off, so just switched it back on, I guess. I don't know how much battery this had left in it, because I tried to charge it before we started the video. But, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, so let's just plug that in. Not a very assuring uh, click when you put it in, but whatever. Uh, let's go to the music. Let's see if this plays. Okay, I can hear something. I don't know if you guys can. So, it looks like it works. I guess if you can read Chinese, then I bet this would be just fine for you if you want to listen to music. But unfortunately, uh, I don't. So, I don't think I'll ever be using this. Nor uh, do I think you should, considering we live in 2014, where we have smartphones that could do all this stuff. And I think the age of the MP3 player is kind of dead. So let's just pause that. So I guess that's about it for the video. I just wanted to show off uh, an obscure thing that I found in my house. 
Um, would I recommend this? No, because we live in the age of smartphones now, so you could just have a smartphone like this that could pretty much do everything this can, but better. Plus, it's not a knockoff. But if you are really serious and you would like to get an MP3 player, get something like an iPod or something that's actually a reputable company because this will probably cost you like 10 bucks now on eBay, but I still wouldn't recommend it because, first of all, the entire thing is in Chinese, so unless you're Chinese, then you can't read this. Also, I'm not even sure if they still sell these. I mean, like, these came out around 2004 or 2005, so they're just really irrelevant now, and I wouldn't recommend getting it because they're not really even collector's items. They're just kind of obscure products that kind of weird to own but I own one so yeah anyways that's about it for this video so make sure to rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs>